Hey, my friend George and I are having a little problem with this old PS2. We got it and screwed, and, and we figured out what the problem was. So we're going to teach you how to fix your broken PS2. So, so uh, what the first problem is, you, what people get is, uh, you plug it in, right? No power. <laughs> right? So what you do is, uh, you come out here, you want to screw all the screws, right? And then you just bust the bad boy open. Now, we highly recommend checking this little strip. <laughs> So if it comes out like this, it won't turn on because this connects the power to this button and you press that. And what some people, when their PS2 doesn't work, it's because they can't read discs. <laughs> Sometimes maybe this is broken off or they, this is unlubricated or maybe just sometimes like, a lot of times just stuff gets loose in here. Like, or it's too tight. There's been times where things are too tight. So, like, if you hit this, there's a little metal tab. You just pull that off. And then inside, there's all these rib ribbon uh, cables. Now, you really make sure you, you do not want to do this at all. <laughs> this is the worst thing you... See, this should never come off. <laughs> right. You know, what you want to do to fix this is just get a hammer, right? Alright, so usually when your discs don't read, it's because of this little laser, right? <laughs> so, uh... Just get a hammer. Get a hammer. Simply put it on a nice flat surface. <laughs> and make sure that your laser is in working condition. This actually fixes a lot of problems with the, uh... Laser. Now, like, it, it, re it realizes. See these little metal tabs? There's little metal tabs here. Those are like the cancer. Almost like System 32 folder. <laughs> it's just, you just want to bend them all in. <laughs> Did your mom sleep, man? I don't think they are, no. I know. What you also want to make sure to do is, just to make sure that your uh, laser's fixed, just get a screwdriver and just bust the, you see, see this little lens that came off? It's not important, you don't want that. It's so just dark. Get in there and just start bringing stuff out. This see, is actually how you get out the laser. Yeah, so you can clean it. Exactly. And you just want to make sure you get these all bent. <laughs> this will... This will increase the graphics of your PS2 so much. There, see? Look. That's the laser. Now you can proceed to clean it. Alright. This is how you clean it. Uh, throwing at the wall <laughs> is probably our, the best method. Um, yeah. There's that PS3. Um, that's broken, so we might have to fix that, too. Yeah, no, so we're gonna get that fixed and use it as a Blu-ray player. So, uh, yeah. back to your PS2 over here. Now, there's two rows of metal tabs. These ones, they make your computer <laughs> faster if you bend them in. Using a hammer like that. But, see, there's still ribbons. Just get those out of there, right? So now, come back here, where you plug in. Your this is not coming out. <laughs> Power cable. Since we're gonna use this on a different tutorial, we're gonna just say that. So right here, you have a white and a black. Now you unplug because that is your ground wire and all your other wires. So what you wanna do is uh hold it here. You can film. All right. I can show the lads how to do this. You get your favorite cutting utensil. In my case, it's a knife. You just want to make sure it's these wires. You don't need them. <laughs> so, you just want to try and get those out of there. I don't want to cut you. You want to cut your ground first so you don't electrocute yourself when you cut the other one. So people are going to be pissed at us now because we broke the PS2. I have another one. Tell them it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. It was already broken beyond repair anyway. No, 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 we could get it fixed and give it to some poor kid. 
Yeah, but it was broken beyond repair anyway. These things sell for right, thirty dollars. Alright, so make sure they see these little metal tabs right here. See these? Just want to get in there and dig each of them up. Kind of like uh, the prongs on a fork. You know how you bend them in middle school? I thought it was hilarious. You do that with these. And if you can, you can't with these. You, you absolutely need to hit these with a hammer. <laughs> Jordan. Alright, so you just proceed to, uh... But, you know, we're actually missing an important step here, Jordan. Oh. You see, we, we forgot to get the DVD drive out of its plastic case. Oh, yeah. Here. Now, see, you see this DVD drive in the case right here? You want to get it out so you can continue to clean everything. You take a hammer... And just bang it in there, and it will just come <laughs> right, right out. out. <laughs> See it? Two nice parts. Um, um, you just take the nearest piece of fabric to clean it, and just you know, yeah, clean it out. And this little thing doesn't need to be here either. You can just tear <laughs> that right off. All right. So here's some more light. Ah, oh, thank you. So he knows what he's cleaning better. Yeah, it's just a little strip, but it's just not. No, we could take this outside and show how to really clean out your operating system. Let's do it. Alright, so you, I'll, you grab the... So this is all of the main parts we fixed already, and my laptop. And I'm just going to go bring this outside first. So we're going to go outside for part two of the tutorial. Recording now. Right. Hey, welcome to pet part two of how to fix your PS2 with Dalton and Jordan. So now that we're outside, we can really get all the software. <laughs> so remember <laughs> these things. Now that you're outside, you get a lot more. <laughs> you want to use this end of the hammer now and just really <laughs> dig into where your hard drive goes. Just get in there. Don't worry. We can just just get all those things out there. And a lot of times, if your CPU doesn't doesn't work, just bust that out, and you can clean it and blow some air through it. Work a lot better. Like again, these tabs. Just you don't need those. They just make it slower. See, those are actually slowly destroying your system. Sony kind of dropped the ball there. Seriously. Sony, you could have improved on that. See, they, they did, but they want, it was like seven years later, they wanted you to buy the PS2 Slim. So See, this cover, get rid of those. this cover, you really need to get it off to get to the good parts of your system that really could be clean. Most people take their screws out. We kind of said, screw it. Yeah, and Jordan, check me if I'm wrong, that is the motherboard down there, right? Ah, uh, yes, this is the motherboard. And, uh, oh, see, you don't, you don't you actually highly, need the motherboard. It's highly recommended that <laughs> all these little metal things, don't bend those, or absolutely <laughs> do that. This is really... Just make yeah. sure you never take it. That's really bad for your operating system. Hang on, wait, wait, Jordan, Jordan. That guy's going to wonder, what the hell are we doing? <laughs> just give uh, people that walk by and think you're weird, just give them a little wave. And they'll think, that guy's a cool kid. <laughs> he fixes his own PS2s. <laughs> now, now you can see it a bit better now. It's probably pretty dark before. Now these little tabs <laughs> that stick out, for like, where you the plug power the and stuff. Yeah. Just you don't need those. <laughs> you really don't. They're just, they're just making it so much more stuff to process. Hey, Jordan, your phone's shutting off. Alright. Well, it's just more stuff you need to process. It's, it's completely black now. Alright. Well, you pretty <laughs> much got the idea. So once you uh, got all your uh, parts disassembled, pretty much... Run it under some cold water, reassemble, and plug it back in, and you're good to okay. go. Well, well, we'll show you the PS2 fully working in part three of our video. Yes. Now, this is the final step to fixing your PS2. Um, take, take your system. Uh, you really want to get all the dust out. <laughs> you also want it to be clean. <laughs> there. Hold up. You need some more soap, and then can't uh, see it on the... Wait. Oh, I see. 
I just hope never hurt anyone. You want to really make sure your system's clean. Right there. It gets off all the viruses. This will make it run so much faster. You can also do this to your PC if it's running slow. Or your Mac. Which I'm Mac too. So, uh, you want to get some luck. <laughs> and you just uh, make sure you have soap on all of it. You grab the first piece. And uh, make sure it's in the camera. And then you scrub away. There you go. Um, next week we're making the tutorial on how to turn your old busted PS2 into an Xbox. Three seconds. So, uh, yeah. Now make sure you get, you know how you bend it all these? Make sure you get into all the glue. Make sure you have all this soap in the bottom so you can just scrub it away. Get all the soap off. And then make sure to make sure to really scrub the motherboard right here. Yeah, you really it's, it's very important. you really need to scrub it. But be careful because some of these are sharp, <laughs> right. and it you don't want to cut yourself. We do not want to harm you in any way, and we are not responsible for anyone who damages their system <laughs> attempting this or damages themselves. Though you can take our word for it, it is <laughs> <It's hard. laughs> Make your system faster. Not even faster, it just fix any problems. Like some people, they'll YouTube or Google, how do I do this? What do I do if my PS2 does your, this? your one stop place. This is like one sure method of fixing something. And you guys might not know this, but your PS2 actually gets viruses in some games. This gets all the way along the viruses. Yeah, the there's a virus no one really knows about. It. You play a game called Call of Duty. Right. It's called, um, what was it called again, Dalton? Uh, it's, it's, it was the first one, Call of Duty Pirate Tower. Alright, yeah, that one gives you a lot of viruses. Uh, yeah, best way not to get them yes. is not to play it in Call of Duty in the first place, because it's so mainstream that it's not even a real game anymore. Right. But, this way, you can it. you can play it and you get rid of those of viruses. Duty. Yeah. So, you, you just this is it. where you, uh, this is like the bottom of your system. Where all the screws go back. Alright, and now for the last part of the video, simply reassemble all of the pieces. And if you're skeptic as to whether or not this works, here's a demonstration. Here's the PS2. And look, it's faster than it ever was before. Well, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.